Hello my darlings and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to craft a Maybon wreath to decorate your home or altar for the autumnal equinox. Let's do some magical crafting. For this wreath project, I wanted to use colors, fruits, and fauna associated with the second harvest and autumnal equinox, especially grapes. However, the artificial plastic grapes I had seemed much too big for my small wreath. And so, I decided to use this white, grape-like decor that I had, and I tried painting them purple and green. I used acrylic paint, and I tried to get as full coverage as possible without destroying the decor. It was very delicate, and the little balls were easy to knock off. I ended up using two shades of purple and two shades of green before I got a result that I was happy with. But I don't recommend this method. If you'd like to recreate this wreath yourself, look for purple and green berry spray picks in the floral section of your local craft or dollar stores. The next step was to decide which part of the wreath is the bottom. With that determined, I began to glue large grape leaves onto the wreath and began to build up the wreath decoration, keeping it balanced. So I glued two clusters of grape leaves and hops buds and my painted grapes on each side. Then I added a large feather at the bottom and began gluing on all the items that represent Maybon and the autumnal equinox to me. I included grapes and apples, pine cones, berries, hops, autumn leaves, and all the colors of the season. This is a 10 inch grapevine wreath, which is the perfect size to decorate my altar. But if you'd like to make a wreath for your door or your home, I recommend getting a larger wreath and larger silk flowers. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of this video without additional comments, except to say that I hope this video gives you some ideas on how to make your own Maybon decor to celebrate the autumnal equinox. And I hope you have a blessed second harvest.